What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Bungie released their latest weekly update for November 12, 2015. Within it they talk about the November update that they previously mentioned in last week's weekly update and they're finally having it set to arrive next week so there's a lot of details that they talk about it and let's get into the details. So first off, we got the Gunsmith or Banshee44 who's going to be selling weapon parts in exchange for Glimmer. That's some really good news. There's a lot of people that have been struggling for weapon parts and it is vital because you need it to upgrade your weapon. So now you can easily purchase them for Glimmer and it shouldn't be that big of an issue anymore. So that's good news. And then we also got an update for the Night Stalker subclass. They're finally bringing back the Quiver perk and they fixed it so that now you can shoot three shadow shots and you won't be able to do the glitch anymore as well. So that's really good. Now everyone can use Quiver in a PvP or Crucible and won't be able to do the Night Stalker glitch. So that's some good news as well. And then the next big thing coming along with this update is the return of Iron Banner. So Iron Banner is coming back next week if everything goes well. And with it, there's a lot of big changes to this Iron Banner in response to the last Iron Banner, the first one of year two. So let's get into some of these changes. So first of all, they're changing it up a little bit themselves. And this Iron Banner is going to be Clash as the game type. So it's not going to be Control this time. It's going to be Clash and it's going to be a little bit different because you got to play with your team and there's no zones to control. And it's all just straight team deathmatch from this time. And it's going to be interesting. This is the first time we played Clash with level advantages enabled. So it's going to be a lot different. And then they list some of the other changes such as Iron Banner reputation from winning matches is increased by 20%. That's always good, earning more rep. Uh, next change is activity completion rewards increased at all ranks with even more significant increases at rank 2 and above. So they promised us rewards last time and it wasn't really that rewarding. And this time around they're going to reward us even more in the end of our matches in the end of our games after completing games so hopefully we get better drops more drops and it's going to be a lot better uh, next up we got packages from Lord Saladin upon reaching rank 3 and rank 5 so that's really good as well you got a chance of earning something in a package after you rank up two times one at rank 3 and rank 5 so pretty similar to like just a regular faction or vendor where you get a package after ranking up so that's always good as well that's more rewards and then they also talk about artifacts and ghost shells so iron banner artifacts can be obtained from the rank 3 package and ghost shells can be obtained from the rank 5 package or activity completion reward so hopefully the ghost shells come in at a similar defense as the raid ghost shells because iron banner is kind of an end game pvp content so hopefully we get some high level ghost shells that can benefit some players and then they also talk about artifacts and this is one thing I want to mention because as of right now we still can not get higher than a 310 artifact. Maybe Iron Banner can change that. I thought Trials was going to include something but I don't know. As of right now I haven't seen anything higher than a 310 artifact in Trials. Even though you can get artifacts from your gold tier packages for Trials. Um, hopefully the Iron Banner artifacts come in at a higher level or higher defense so it can help us level up even higher as well. So that's some exciting stuff that we can look forward to. We got Iron Banner. Uh, still no word on when the challenge modes are officially going to be coming out and also further along those lines a next expansion or DLC for Destiny. So hopefully we get more news about that coming in December. They have a December update that they want to talk to us about later on when it gets closer as well. So we'll hear more about that later on as well. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.